This is free. Uh, everything is open source and it's hopefully pretty easy. As you can see, I've got five books in my Kindle account. I have five books in my unearthed account and I have five books in my obsidian vault. I've also got a, a daily note for today and it's got a daily reflection. This comes from unearthed, which is a quote from this book and I get a new one each day and it gets automatically sent to obsidian from unearthed. I can also press this little extension button and I'll get the same quote up here. Tomorrow it'll be a different one. If I don't like that quote, I can get a new one. And there's our new quote. Now if I delete this daily reflection and I can press this button again. There's our new one. In the settings for the Obsidian plugin for Unearthed, this is where you choose how everything is imported. You can change the templates on everything. Uh, but I will show you that a bit later on in the video. If you've seen my earlier video on this, uh, stick around because there's some updates, uh, which is why I'm making the video. Here's what's going on. First of all, there's no Amazon credentials required. The Unearth Browser extension just uses the browser session to get all of your Kindle books, which then gets sent to the Unearthed app. Now here's a big difference. Unearthed app used to have to live in the same browser and be logged in at the same time in the same browser, but not anymore. You can log out and it will still work. You just need to set up your API key so everything can talk to each other. So the browser extension will grab the books every day, once per day, unless you do a manual sync. And it will then obviously send it to Unearth app here. Unearth app will organize them and send back a daily reflection so that you can view your daily reflection in the extension. Unearth app then will send it to Obsidian, which doesn't have to be on the same computer. Uh, because it is talking via an API key also. Same deal, it'll get it once per day, unless you do an auto uh, manual sync. Now the uh, books are sent there, and the daily reflection is also sent there at the same time. The nice thing is this will work for computer or mobile. A cool thing is as well that you can ignore books. So in unearthed it will still get all of the books from kindle because kindle's just like you know sending everything the unearthed app can decide which books to ignore so that it doesn't use those ignored books for daily reflections it also doesn't use ignored books for sending to obsidian so this is the home page um, i just wanted to point out the difference here so the premium version has a few extra features like um, AI support. Where's my Kiosa? There it is. Kiosa? Like Notion syncing. Uh, you can search your notes as well. Um, you can manually add things within the Unearthed app, which will then be sent to Obsidian also. You can import from CSV files. You can download your clippings file directly from Kindle and import that too. Um, there is also an AI chat feature, which I find very helpful. And the other one that I really like is the emailing uh, the daily reflection to me. But you don't need any of that because if you all you want to do is send to Obsidian, then this is free. So go ahead and create an account, join for free here. Once you've logged in, you'll see that you have no books. So you need the Chrome extension or the Firefox extension. I'm using Zen, so I've got the Firefox one. Let's open it up. It says we need an API key, which is one of the major changes from the last video. So go to settings, which is up here. Let me zoom in that little cog icon just there. 
let's make a key. Uh, we'll call it extension. That'll do. So once you've made the key, you make sure you copy it straight away because if I was to refresh the page now, it will disappear. Well, the values disappeared, but the key still exists. Uh, this is because this is for security reasons. Oh, also, I should say that this settings page will look a little different because this is the premium version right now. So let's stick that key into here. This is also where you choose whether you want the extension to sync automatically in the background. You might not want it to do that um, because you might have hundreds of books and it could maybe slow down your browser. But it will only do it once per day. Otherwise, if you want to do it manually, you just um, leave that unchecked and then you can just press the uh, Get Kindle Books button whenever you want to uh, update the library. When you put that key in, make sure um, it's probably a good idea to just get out of the extension and get back into it just so that it uh, takes effect. Let's press that button and see this is what it has just grabbed from Kindle. You can select what you want. Continue. And you can see it is uploading them one by one. And it's nearly done. And it's done. You can download the CSV or you can go to books. And here they all are. So let's look at this one. Oh, let me let me show you this. So it's got 37 um, quotes. This is where you would ignore the book if you would like to not for it to not show up in uh, Obsidian. And if you don't want it to be used for daily reflections, if you go to remove completely, um, it knows that it's a Kindle book that you've gotten. So it's just making sure that you know that when you delete this, it will actually just reappear here the next time you sync. Because every book is grabbed from Kindle every time. If you don't want to see that book elsewhere, you can press ignore instead. This delete feature here is mainly here for other sources. So other than books or other than Kindle books. Because the premium version allows you to add other sources as well. So let's ignore a book. I'll ignore this I Let You Go book, which appears up here in the ignored section. So let's get this into Obsidian. We will need, oh, let me delete all of these books. And I'll delete the contents of this daily note. Go to settings, which was down the bottom. You need to go to community plugins, uh, enable community plugins if you haven't, browse, search for unearthed, there it is, uh, install it, enable it, then you can press the options button. I'm going to put the same key in that I put into the extension. This is the settings for the uh, plugin. Now this, these um, source templates, quotes template, and the daily reflection template, if you leave them blank, it will just be uh, what I decided was good. But if you would like to make your own, you can insert the options to see what you uh, have to work with. And as you can see, Whoa. Yeah, there's a few things there that you can use. Cool. Let's just press this manual sync button to see if it's going to work. I might do the daily reflection first. Now, the first time you press it, it will take a little bit longer because it needs to make the initial connection. But after that, it should be quicker. See, it's still working on it. But there it is there. And let's see if it's the same one that we got in Unearthed. And it is, which is nice. We've got no books yet. You can press this button here too if you would like. I'll show you this other one. Manual Sync uh, Trigger here. 
And this is grabbing just the books. And let's zoom up and see when they arrive. So we're just looking down here. Hope my screen recording thing is going to work for that. Are they arriving? I don't know. It's taking a little bit of time. Okay, it's taking a while. Um, oh, it was my screen recording thing. <laughs> uh, so that did work. Um, anyway, so it's only got the four books. Which is correct because I ignored this book. So there you go. Uh, no more copy pasting and no more subscriptions. But if you do want to try out premium, then that would be uh, welcome too. You'll get things like AI chat. So this will be in the context of whatever book that you're viewing. You can get a quiz on the book if you'd like. Or you can get help journaling, be mentored, all sorts of things. Um, and like I said, the daily email is a nice one for me so that I don't have to open any particular app. Either way, I hope you uh, enjoy getting some wisdom flowing into your Obsidian Vault, and I'd love to hear from you. I've uh, heard from quite a few people already, um, and it's really helped in making the app better. And like I say, I'd like to continue to develop it if I can. So your feedback is definitely welcome. So either put it in the comments of this video or, or just email me. All right, uh, that's all for now. Cheers.